Now, the battle for control at the crash site of Malaysia Airlines Flight 17 is entering a new chapter focused on the fate of victims, following reports of bodies being loaded into refrigerated railway carriages by the very people suspected of shooting down that plane. Russian President Vladimir Putin has promised the Dutch Prime Minister that he'll help to retrieve bodies and black boxes from the Ukrainian rebel-held crash site of MH17. But the U.S. and British leaders keep their fingers pointed at Russia for nurturing the separatists suspected of bringing down the airliner. Our Sun jung has the latest. A spokesperson for the Dutch government press service said the latest conversation between Prime Minister Mark Rutte and Russian President Vladimir Putin focused on practical matters, including the handing over of the black boxes that were seen being retrieved from the crash site. The spokesperson said Putin vowed his full cooperation in handling the case, as well as allowing unrestricted access to the site. Prime Minister of self-proclaimed Donetsk People's Republic Alexander Brodai said they were ready to hand the black box to the International Civil Aviation Organization. We are keeping the black box in Donetsk. We are waiting for international civil aviation representatives to arrive. The rebel leader also said the bodies of victims recovered from the crash site would remain in refrigerated containers at a train station in the town of Torres in the meantime. International monitors had reported that the human remains were headed to an unknown site, expressing concerns about their whereabouts. Western leaders are furious about the manhandling of corpses and are urging Putin to take serious actions in helping international rescuers bring the bodies home. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry, who described the scenes of separatists removing bodies as grotesque, said during an interview with CNN that the U.S. knows with confidence that Ukraine did not have a weapon capable of downing a jet. He added that it was pretty clear a missile system had been transferred from Russia. Meanwhile, an urgent vote led by Australia is expected to take place within the next 24 hours in the UN Security Council on a resolution that would condemn the shooting down of the plane and demand those responsible be held accountable. Son Jung-in, Arirang News.